Yo, 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 I think it's created by this person right here, Narc Narknon. It's the person that um, uploads the releases to it. So shout out to the creator of this. And you can just select the top one, make sure that you are on the latest release and select the dot zip. Okay, you wanna select the dot zip, UE4SS, uh, Windows dot zip. Okay, we wanna select that in order to download. So once you have this downloaded, it should look something like this on my left hand side you're going to see a ue4ss folder and then on my right hand side i have my hogwarts legacy directory opened up what we want to do is go ahead and open up our ue4ss folder inside there we are going to have all of our uh, files and folders that we want to install all right so i'm gonna go ahead and highlight everything um except the change log and the readme okay so i have everything highlighted except the readme and the change log all right now let's go back over to our hogwarts legacy directory and we want to go ahead and go inside of our phoenix folder and then our binaries folder and windows 64 folder and inside that folder we are going to take everything that we have highlighted over here except the windows and change log and we're going to drag and drop everything over here into our windows 64 in our hogwarts legacy directory all right so once that has been dragged and dropped all over here we are good to go um, in order to install any mods that um, might require the UE4SS. As you can see, once we dragged and dropped it, it gave us a mods folder. So what you want to do is open up the mods folder that you had just installed inside the Hogwarts Legacy directory. And inside this mods folder is where you will place your mods that require this mod loader. All right. This is not for all mods that is made for the game. I'm going to repeat that. It's not made for all mods that are made for Hogwarts Legacy. Just specific mods that require this spe specific mod loader pretty much. All right. So you want to stick to reading the requirements and make sure that you are using um, the correct requirements for the correct mods. All right. So once you have um, your mods and everything installed, you will be all good to go to go ahead and run the game. All right. So that's going to conclude our tutorial for today. But if this helped y'all out to install it or if you just enjoyed the video, feel free to smash the like button for me. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video with your friends that are in the modding Hogwarts Legacy. This is Games and Graphics. We are out of here until next time. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.